So you've got your 3D printer set up and you've been printing models from websites like Thingiverse or Maker World or Printables, which is awesome, but you're ready to take things to the next level and create your own designs. And that's where you're gonna need the right softwares. And that's why in this video, I'm sharing my top seven best 3D print software programs to use to create your own 3D print stuff. These are tools I've personally tried and I'll walk you through what makes each one of them great. Whether you're a beginner or looking for something advanced, there's something here for you. And by the way, I'll have links to everything in the description. These will be affiliate links, but after all, you're just helping out my channel here. So when I first started out, I didn't know anything about 3D modeling, and I went straight to Tinkercad. And let me tell you, it's the perfect tool for beginners. What's super amazing about it is that it's free, it's super easy to use, and it runs in your web browser, so you don't need to lag down a computer with a software and you don't need to download anything. I remember like it was yesterday. My first model was a simple keychain with my name on it, and honestly, I was hooked. Once you start like learning to model like this, it's just like, ah, like I was looking for the next get rich quick model. So Tinkercad is amazing for designing basic things like keychains, toys, or little replacement parts around the house. I've designed so many little different like trinkety stupid things that honestly I can't even remember. Like, I don't know, it's, like you just run out of ideas and it just like fills my brain constantly. What I'm trying to say here is Tinkercad is a fantastic way to just dip your toes into 3D modeling without feeling super overwhelmed. But after you get comfortable with the basics, I wanted to design basic functional things, right? Things with precise measurements. And that's where I discovered Fusion 360. And this was an absolute game changer because once I got into Fusion 360, my mind just like, whoo, it just took off, man. Like I tell you guys, I'm constantly trying to think of the next thing to get rich with 3D printing. Will it happen? Probably not. So what's cool with Fusion 360 is it's free for personal use, but once you get past that, you're gonna have to pay for it. And again, the link will be in the description. You are supporting the channel here with the affiliate. And what makes Fusion 360 stand out is its parametric modeling. For example, I designed a custom drawer organizer for my tools and I wanted to tweak just this little dimension. I'll never forget this. And all I had to do was just adjust a few numbers and the whole design updated automatically. That's the magic of F360 or Fusion 360. It gives you complete control while saving you the time. And if you're serious about making functional parts or even things with moving components, unlike Gengar here, you've got to try Fusion 360. Like it's one of my top go-tos for this. If I were to have you leaving which best software I would use for 3D print modeling, it's Fusion 360. And the reason is it's just because it's like this perfect mix of professional grade with just like easeability for consumers. Again, link will be in the description. And again, to touch base on my story, my personal story here, once I had the technical stuff down, I wanted to try my hand at creative designs, and that's where Blender came in. What's cool about Blender is it's completely free open source tool, and it's perfect for making artistic models like sculptures or miniatures or cool things like this. It's a bowl, but it's just made of like cells. One of my favorite projects was a little figurine of my dog, and I know that sounds corny. It wasn't perfect, but the fact that I could sculpt it, kind of like move it around like clay using Blender, it's just an incredible tool. Just keep in mind that it's got a bit of a learning curve and you're gonna invest some time into learning it and it's not easy, it's not the easiest, but none, I mean, these tools all have learning curves. You have to know that going in. Then there's another tool called FreeCAD, which is also open source, which means there's tons of like community plugins that kind of like help do different things. If you're on a budget, this is a good tool as well. It's, it's, it does precise modeling. It's definitely worth a shot to take a look at. For those of you who love coding or just like like precision when creating things, there's also OpenSCAD. This is a, a completely different from like everything else because it's code based. You type commands to build your models. I'll be honest, this isn't one for everyone. Again, I had troubles, I struggled with it. I think I have ADHD and it just didn't work for me. OpenSCAD, it, it's a lot of fun, but I got lost in it. I like design like the stack of storage bins in OpenSCAD and the coolest part was being able to like tweak dimensions with just a few changes to the code. If you're a fan of precision and like, what's the word? Automation, this is the tool for you. Okay, so there's one more tool on the list here. This is called Mesh Mixer. It's a free program from Autodesk that's perfect for fixing, editing, and like preparing models 
And the reason I say this is because I used it to repair a broken STL that someone wanted or like someone needed me to print and it fixed it. So I think Mesh Mixer is worth talking about on this list. It's also great for combining different models into one. I once mashed up a phone stand and a pen holder to create a, like a desk organizer together. Mesh Mixer, I would call it like the ultimate Swiss army knife for 3D printing and modeling. All right, so one final tool here that I wanna talk about before we go, before you leave, is ZBrush. If you're serious about detailed sculptures, I got really into this. This is a gold standard if you're into that kind of thing. I borrowed it from a friend once to design a miniature dragon and the thing turned out insane. This is the kind of software professionals use to create figurines and it does have a huge learning curve. People that are really into collectibles or like high detail designs, ZBrush is it. But ZBrush isn't free, but if you're an artist or someone who wants to create stunning detailed models, it's worth every penny. The tools it offers for sculpting and detailing are unmatched. Like I remember like how well it worked and it, it, it was constantly blowing my mind. Again, I'll throw links to all these in the description. ZBrush, I give it a thumbs up. It has a tiny learning curve though. There you have it guys. Those are my top picks for 3D print softwares to be using to CAD create 3D print models. Tinkercad is a great place to learn the basics, but if you're looking to create precise functional parts, I cannot recommend Fusion 360 enough. And for those of you who want to make stunning sculptures or figures, I've also got to try ZBrush because it's in a league of its own. The key is to find a tool that works for you and just start experimenting. Like I said, a lot of these have learning curves and they are a bit difficult to learn, but once you get into it, it's so exciting. Let me know in the comments which software you're going to be using. If you've used any and you have personal experiences, please consider subscribing. After all, I am a 3D printing nerd. Thanks for watching and happy 3D printing.